You are going to love my homemade juicy meatball sub with homemade marinara sauce. Hi guys, welcome to Dairy Free Bliss. Tonight we are going to be making the most amazing meatball sub. It's going to have marinara sauce that we're going to make from scratch. It's going to have amazing dairy free mozzarella cheese. And we're going to use two types of meats to make these meatballs. They are going to be juicy, delicious, so tasty and it's gonna be on an amazing toasted hoagie. I'm gonna make um, the meatballs using two different meats. I'm gonna use ground sausage and ground beef. I like the ground beef that has um, 85-15 fat. That's just because it gives it more flavor, but you can use a more lean ground beef if you like. I'm gonna go ahead and put, this is a pound of ground beef, and I'm using organic ground beef. And then, I did not or was not able to find any ground sausage at my grocery store. So I bought the links, the raw links in their casings and I just pushed them out. So this is a pound of ground beef to about a half pound of ground sausage. And that's just gonna go in there like that. So now we're gonna season our meat. So I'm going to use a few different seasonings. So for sure, I want to use some freshly ground black pepper. Go ahead and be pretty liberal about it. A bunch of grinds. Then I'm going to put in a big dash of kosher salt. I'm gonna do just one or two dashes of red pepper flakes for just a little bit of heat. We're gonna do about a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna use about a half teaspoon of onion powder as well. And about a half teaspoon of oregano, dried oregano, I'm using dried oregano. And then I wanna use a little bit of thyme, about a quarter teaspoon. And then when I put the thyme in, especially if it's dried, I always like to rub it between my hands to kind of release that, that flavor. All right, so now, I'm going to go ahead and take one egg. This is gonna be our binder. And you wanna put that in there. And then I also want a, about a little under a quarter cup. You can use about a quarter cup of milk. I'm gonna use almond milk. Remember to always shake up your almond milk because it separates. And we're gonna do a quarter cup. And then we are going to use breadcrumbs. So you can use panko, you can use Italian, whichever you like. These are Italian um, breadcrumbs, they're not seasoned. I'm gonna use a quarter cup, so in we go. And then you just wanna go ahead and mix it up. So I'm using a spoon, but feel free to use your hands or if you have some food safe gloves, you could put those on and scrunch it together with your hands. Sometimes it's a lot easier to bring it together when you're using your hands, but I didn't have any gloves and didn't feel like getting dirty, so I'm using a spoon. Go ahead and mix it well, and if you're using your hands, keep in mind, you don't wanna squish it too much because that will make the meatballs way too tough. You wanna keep them tender. All right, so the ground beef is all mixed. And the next thing we want to do is scoop it into balls, into meatballs for our sub, and then we're going to let it rest a little bit. And the reason we want to let it rest is because the breadcrumbs will have a chance to soak up all of the juices from the meat so that when we cook these, all the juices will not be released and lost. And then you have like these watery kind of flavorless meatballs. So let's go ahead and scoop these into balls now. So somewhere along the way, I lost my ice cream scoop and I love having different size ice cream scoops to do different things in the kitchen, whether it was those coconut snowballs that I didn't have to use it for, or whether it is scooping out cookies or something like this application where I want like a uniform size. Um, instead, right now, I'm just gonna use a third cup measure and that just allows me to have it be kind of the same size, all of them. So go ahead and scoop it and roll it into balls. So this third cup measure is the perfect size to make the meatballs for the sub. 
They don't have to be perfect, but go ahead and give them a good roll. And remember not to smush them too much. If you overwork the meat, it's gonna be tough and nobody wants a tough meatball. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to roll these. I'm making about nine meatballs from this recipe, but if you make them smaller or larger, you can make more or less. All right, so while the meatballs rest, I'm gonna set them aside. We are gonna go ahead and start to make our marinara sauce. So I've also preheated my oven to 375 degrees because that is the temperature we are going to bake our meatballs at after we kind of sear them in the cast iron. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make our marinara sauce. I'm gonna make enough marinara sauce for about three sub sandwiches. Um, this recipe makes about three meatballs per sub sandwich. Um, and if you wanna double it, feel free, but um, I'm just gonna make just enough for three. So this is a can of crushed tomatoes. Um, it doesn't have any like seasonings in it or anything like that, but feel free to use what you like. And it is a 28 ounce can, so I'm gonna use about half of this. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and use half of a medium sized onion. And we're gonna use some basil. I like a lot of fresh basil. So I have a bunch of basil here. Um, I'm gonna use, whoops. I'm gonna use about, I don't know, six or seven leaves of basil, maybe three cloves of garlic, and then I'm also gonna be seasoning it, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna be putting in there for seasonings. Also wanna do um, some fresh parsley. I'll probably do like three sprigs of chopped fresh parsley in there. So let's get chopping. So I'm chopping half of an onion. It doesn't have to be perfect because the onion will cook down before we put the sauce in. And then the next thing we're doing here is pulling our parsley leaves off of our stems. I'm using about four parsley sprigs, but feel free to use however much you like. Give that a rough chop. You want it finely chopped enough so you don't have big pieces of parsley when you have that sauce. The next thing I'm doing here is chopping some basil. What I'm doing here is called a chiffonade. And this is an easy way to chop basil. Go ahead and layer the leaves, roll it up, and then slice. Smash a few cloves of garlic. I'm using three here. A rough chop again is fine. Everything's gonna cook down in the sauce. Here I already have the onions. They're sauteing, and they're sauteing with our herbs. So we have two teaspoons of dried oregano, a teaspoon of dried thyme, a half a teaspoon each of garlic and onion powder, and I put a dash of red pepper flakes. That goes in with about two tablespoons of olive oil, soften those onions. Then I'm using a half a can, a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Go ahead and put that in. And the idea here is to simmer this all together so the tomato taste will cook down and it will become really rich in flavor. And you can see after a little bit of time, the tomato sauce has darkened and it's become more rich. Go ahead and put about one teaspoon of sugar. Now it's time to check on our meatballs. About halfway through, I like to give the pan a good shake to ensure nothing is sticking and they're cooking evenly. All right, so our meatballs are done. We're gonna take them out of the oven. Look at those, they're gorgeous. Now let's toast our bread and then we are gonna plate this up with some marinara, some cheese, and then put it under the broiler to melt. I'm using about three meatballs per hoagie and this recipe will make about three sub sandwiches. So place your meatballs on the bread. Feel free to put a little bit of sauce on the bread first if you like, but I'm just gonna put the marinara sauce on the top. I'm gonna load it up.
Next, we're going to put on some cheese. I'm using Daya. I love this cheese for this application because it doesn't get crusty or hard like some dairy-free cheeses. This one melts beautifully and pulls just like real cheese. All right, guys, I pulled my meatball sub out from under the broiler. I had it on a sheet pan under the broiler. Keep a really close eye on it because it will hit too far really fast under this really hot 500 degree broiler. So keep an eye on it, maybe a minute or two, depending on what your broiler is like. And look at this. All right, time to try it. I'm gonna try, <laughs> I'm gonna try and have a bite of this without making a total mess for you guys on, on camera. But this thing is loaded. Oh yeah. Oh, that is amazing. So when we seared those meatballs, I use duck fat and the duck fat that gives the outside of the meatball really good flavor, really crisp. Finishing them in the oven keeps the center of that meatball nice and juicy. That marinara sauce that we made from scratch has such a depth to it. You have to make it from scratch. And the dairy-free cheese that we're using, that mozzarella melts perfectly. It pulls just like a meatball sub with actual cheese on it. I want you to try this. Try this tonight. You are going to love it. Remember, subscribe and follow me, Dairy Free Bliss, on Instagram and dairyfreebliss.com for the full recipe.